Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share my experience of using this Casted Audio A26 Delta Sigma deck in my system using it every day. So I had this deck for a while. They are using Asahi Kasei micro devices, in short, AKM 4499EX chips in dual balance design with AKM um, 4191 modulator chip, which is it has the uh, digital filter that reconstruct the uh, incoming digital signal that it received. So then uh, 4499 EX can convert it to analog back out. So that is the design, and it uses the uh, XMOS uh, XU, XU216 USB chipset and including fully balanced architecture and very much improved in functionality, fit and finish and features and everything. Some might wonder, is it better than the R26 that they made? Absolutely. Advancement that they made in technologically and functionally, they made it really leap forward, beautifully constructed deck that you can have for around 1500 US dollars. So I'm gonna go through the menu here real quick. On and off button right here. And this is a menu function select area. So this is just a display. So right now, the brightness of the display is set at the uh, screen saver, but you can change it to different setting if you would like to have a brighter screen or brighter lettering. So if you want to get into the menu, just little uh, gear icon here, just hit and hold the screen will brighten up and it will get into the menu. So these are all the menu settings that you can go through. Let's go number one first. So this is what I like. That is the PCM filter. It's sharp roll off, but you can change it to slow roll off or short delay and different filters, but I prefer to have it at the sharp roll off. And DSD filter, narrow bandwidth, you can change it to wild bandwidth. And DSD direct, and I did enable it, so which that is I prefer. I don't like DOP. And next thing is the reference clock. So that is the internet clock. But uh, if you want to have a better sound and much better uh, digital performance, you should use the uh, external uh, digital clock. That is a sound, different type of sound uh, signature. So I prefer to have it at the uh, monitoring. If you want, you can do a listening. So which will be a bit warmer and a little bit more forgiving sound signature, but I prefer monitoring. And the attenuator, I did off because I don't use these deck as the uh, pre-amplifier. Face is all standard. You can use with any gears, including Pro audio equipment, except for Japanese uh, domestic market equipment. If you have a Japanese uh, domestic amplifier or equipment, that you can use the inverted version, which means it uses the uh, one ground, two core, three hot. But a standard international version uses one ground, two hot, three core. So those are different, you know, in pin connection and XLR connection. So brightness, I'm using the uh, screensaver mode, but you can change it to dark mode, which I really like. And then next one is moderate, next one is bright, and next one goes back to auto off, or next setting is, you can go to screensaver. If you don't do anything, it will get out of there. So let's go back. So those are all the settings that you can go through. And it has the fully functional remote control that you can use with this A26 DAC. This is the uh, most advanced and most feature-rich Gusted Audio DAC yet better than anyone else. Meaning, what I mean by that is in terms of fit and finish and sound quality and overall musicality, technical advances and everything is, I don't know if they have any better deck under $5,000 range better than this A26 can deliver you in 
every regard. It has a dedicated power supply for digital and analog session. Little pop sound that I notice is when it's switching formats. So that is a little downside for me. Otherwise, the rest very quiet. In this system, I used this deck with two different system using that letter bulk R2 a preamplifier connected to ice power 500 watts monoblocks as well as glass A bias design Dano BME SX11. I tried three different speakers this Musician Night One, Kev R11, and Pioneer Ted S1EX. There is no DDC or external clock, USB cable by Oya Eden. Neo Class A USB cable connected directly to this A26 deck. For this review, I'm using different type of XLR cable from my standard Mogami cable, which is Daedalus XLR cable from Rai cable from Italy. It has a really good transparent sound. You will hear the sound sample with TED S1EX from Pioneer. Watch few Netflix streaming movies and everything sound really clean and very uh, naturally reproduced like all the dialogues and every conversation and ambient noises in the movie everything is very well reproduced and even that low res uh, you know basic amazon uh, prime music streaming this caster a26 reproduced very minimal glare and noise digital artifacts that you may hear so that is a really big plus for me. I mean, even for that kind of, you know, like cheap quality streaming. When I start listening to A26 in this main system, what I noticed was how the tonally warm and rich engaging sound that they came out of factory, meaning that all the factory setting. Then I changed all my settings that as you can see in my menu walkthrough. So I like to have it as the sharp roll off for the PC and playback, DSD direct and monitoring feature instead of listening. So that brings up more resolution and more micro detail. I was listening to Rebecca Pigeon, uh, bring it on home track, right? That is a DSD 2.8 track. So. When she was speaking, I can hear every little notes and little tiny mouth movements and tongue movement. There's little noise that you can hear. So that kind of uh, micro detail is very good, impressively good. Human voices, I am absolutely big fan of the way that it can reproduce effortlessly natural without overdoing anything. So I listen to my own voice. I listen to a bunch of music, you know, different singers and everything. So, I mean, a bunch of different music for me personally. I listen to, you know, Taylor Swift to 1950s music because I want to know how this deck can be. Uh, I mean, if I can recommend to, you know, wide majority of music listener because some decks are not. For instance, I was listening to uh, Mr. Otis uh, sitting on the top of the bay. Even that track is incredibly reproduced. Nice and really good, cohesive yet very wide soundstage. So what I mean by that is a sonically cohesive soundstage with incredible amount of detail, musically engaging, enjoyable sound, even for Back in the days, you know, not so great recording. Big plus is it's musical. It doesn't sound flat. It doesn't sound lo-fi kind of thing. Many decks will make them oldies sound like lo-fi kind of sound quality, but this deck is not because in nature of a very good uh, organic analog kind of sound quality that it deliver, it possesses for sound reproduction out of this A26. So this A26 is better in terms of uh, digital to analog conversion than R26 or a bunch of uh, R2 R decks can do for the sound quality and honest sound reproduction, yet still giving you and retaining really good music 
musical tonality that you want to have. So this is the must-have deck and it should be end game deck for many people. I'm very serious, my friend. Today is last day of 2022. So I am going to give you my all out because I love it so much that I am keeping this Gusted Audio A26 as my reference deck. I have a bunch of very good sounding decks, but everything combined, functionality and features, everything and easy of using, compatibility and sound quality, equalness in sound reproduction. What I mean by that is, you can either connect to single-ended output or balanced output, sound quality is equally good because the single-ended output is balanced as well because all outputs are grounded. Those are the features and functions that you are getting for this price. Basically, it's all balanced design, so there is no noticeable noise, period, at all. Doesn't matter what music or what system you have it. I mean, you can pair with uh, glass DMs or any kind of amplification. But please keep in mind, you have to play around a little bit to get your liking. So there is monitoring function, listening function, as well as BCM filter. So those are, you can play around and probably you will love it. As you can see, that is my listening Average my listening position with this S1 EX is just right a tap before our 8 o'clock position on volume control knob. So that will give me around 65 to 75 dB range of uh, loudness in this room. Even for that loudness level, lowest of the notes are properly reproduced and incredibly musical. It's tonally rich and deep well-defined notes, yet it has the nice, engaging, uh, smooth and rich signature and tonality to it, tightness without over-tightening kind of uh, sound. So that is a more natural and organic kind of uh, bass quality without sounding artificial bass sound reproduction. If you listen to live recordings such as that Patricia Barber Let It Ring track, her voice, raspy notes, bass lines, everything, piano notes, incredible. I mean, I'm, it's like I'm having my own live entertainment here in this room. So that kind of uh, sound reproduction and realistic and engaging music uh, sound. For example, I listen to my usual reference tracks such as uh, Michael Jackson's uh, Art Song. So that intro, really, really low notes are very much nicely reproduced without even having subwoofer or without even using tone control or EQing. So that is a proper sound quality and proper bass reproduction that you will hear. And many people use Daft Punk uh, Get Lucky track as the other bass reproduction track. So that track is probably best I've ever heard in my system using many different decks. Modern music like Taylor Swift or Midnight's album all sounded phenomenal. Probably that is her best work yet at her age and for the creativity wise. I really love the album. Uh, and then uh, I try, uh, some people may call it monotone music, like Billie Eilish music. The detail retriever is incredible, even for that kind of bass heavy, you know, one frequency range kind of a low region is incredibly reproduced. Every detail that possible and whatever it may have, it will properly re-deliver to you with engaging manner, tonally correct, musically engaging sound. But please keep in mind, if you have uh, some bright recording, then uh, that, that will get delivery as well, as you know, honest sound reproduction out of good that can be. Upper bass to mid-range transition area is no forwardness or 
whatever you will have in recording that what you will hear it back. That is an honest delivery and incredible mid-range accuracy and musicality as well. Human voices, I'm not complaining anything as natural and as organic as it can be for the deck that it can deliver for your music. And then highs, some may find it, it might be a little roll off, but that is depending on what you pair with. What makes it different is the power supply and balance design and how they control the uh, jitter and you know digital artifacts in the background. So that is a really good job with AKM and Custard and everything they put together. It don't get in the way of sound signature of your speaker or your component, but it will give you good musical tone with great sounding sound reproduction without giving you extreme, you know, unlistenable experience with some music. Doesn't matter what loudness you play with. I try uh, some classical music, so some of the tracks I try, I mean, I'm not really a classical guy, but I love some classical music. It's incredible. I mean, the skill, dynamic range, attack, and as well as the depth of the uh, stereo image is probably one of the best, if not the best in terms of uh, depth and stereo image combined. It will give you immersive soundscape and it will surround you with great musical notes all around you and sometimes I will forget I was supposed to take in notes when I'm listening to my music thanks to this uh, beryllium tweeter and that mid-range driver as well. Sound reproduction, price to performance, functions and features and everything combined. This is the uh, absolute great buy of 2022 in my opinion and you will have great musical pleasure of enjoying it and listening it in your system. But some might ask me, did I try any RON or those kind of things? No, I do not. I don't use a RON anymore. So I can easily recommend it to my family member, my best friend, anyone who loves the music. I can easily recommend it to them wholeheartedly. So that's it, my friend. That is my review and my experience. Stay tuned. I have more uh, AKM chips, power uh, decks coming up for review. So I will be comparing A26 versus R26 in future videos. So overall, they do have uh, some similarity, but it's different. This A26 is head and shoulder above, in my opinion. That's it, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. To me, good deck is ability to re-deliver everything together in your system without much of interference, including sound coloration and noise, right? So without that, plus organic and natural as possible in terms of sound signature, plus ability to adapt any environment, meaning you have tube system or transistor, I mean, class D, doesn't matter. It will be re-delivered with great sound signature. What makes great deck is all that combined, it has ability to re-deliver the music, doesn't matter when it was recorded. It may be 60s, it may be 50s, or even modern music. It will re-deliver with incredible musicality and enjoyable tonality with very good uh, listening experience. Doesn't matter what artist you like.
Baby, the bridge to your heart, all the 
Tony Blair, plays his on the guitar. Audio my ears, yeah.